Warning. This show deals with sensitive subjects that may disturb the viewer. Viewer discretion is advised. In nearly all cultures, myths and legends can serve as cautionary tales, keeping one foot firmly rooted in reality while keeping the other rooted in the supernatural. And it's no surprise that the most effective cautionary tales are the most terrifying. The ancient lore of indigenous peoples of North America is as vast and far-reaching as the continent itself. Unless you're well-versed in native lore, you might not realize how many of these tales are populated by horrifying spirits, ghosts, demons, and other monsters. We are going to share the most nightmarish ones with you. Kamazots, the Death Bat. This ferocious creature originates with the ancient Mayans, who depicted him as a powerful god monster from the hellish domain of Zibalba, where he resides over swarms of bloodthirsty vampire bats. Though powerful enough to destroy entire civilizations, Kamazots made a treaty with human beings to bring them fire, but in exchange he demanded human sacrifices. Number 2. Canonsis Dantes the Flying Heads. Iroquois myths include some nightmarish tales, but the Flying Heads are the creepiest by a long shot. There are many stories about these evil creatures, most of which portray them as a kind of vampire. They are vary from size to tiny to humongous, and the most familiar story involves one of the beasts attacking a woman who was roasting chestnuts. The creature accidentally ingested a hot coal from the fire and burned itself to ashes. Mishi Peshu, the Water Panther. The story of the Water Panther spans multiple tribes, including Cree, Algonquin, Ojibwe, and Shawnee. It's usually described as a giant dragon-like feline, and the most common element is the monster's aquatic habitat. It lurks in lakes and rivers, waiting for humans to come close to the water, then pulls them under and drowns them. It's even said to have a snaky prehensile tail that aids in its snaring prey. Four, Yi Nablushi, the Skinwalker. Known mainly to Navajo folklore, the Skinwalker is essentially the North American equivalent to the werewolf. In most tales, the creature is a magical or cursed being, usually a shaman who takes part in a heretical ceremony designed to summon evil forces so that he may take on the characteristics of an animal. That animal can take on many forms, including wolves, bears, and birds. If the shaman stays too long in animal form, he can lose his humanity completely, which makes him even more dangerous. Now, most people of the Diné truly believe in these tales, and it is said that you're not supposed to say the name, because the more that you say the name, the more attention that you get from these creatures. Number 5. Skudakumuch, the Ghost Witch. One of the scariest figures in Pascal Modi and Micmac mythology is the Ghost Witch. It is often said to be born from the dead body of a shaman who practiced black magic. The demonic entity then emerges each night with murder on its mind. They can be killed with fire, but beware of approaching one. Simply making eye contact or hearing the witch's voice can bring a diabolical curse down on the unwary. Number 6. Tata Klea, that's the Owl Woman. From the Yakama tribe come tales of five supernatural women who resemble giant owls, dwelling in caves by day and flying out at night to prey on all manner of creatures, including humans. In fact, they are said to prefer the taste of children. Legend has it that they can hunt humans by mimicking their language. So, and the owl itself is a symbol of death in many native cultures. 
So owl women are essentially a walking embodiment of death itself. Tehihan, the little cannibals. Among the most dreaded figures in Cheyenne and Arapaho legends, these savage humanoids may be child-sized, but they're incredibly strong and often attack in large numbers. According to some myths, the Tehihan were fearsome warriors in a previous life, resurrected as dwarves after dying in battle. Most of those tales say they were finally wiped out by an alliance of several tribes. The Wendigo Arguably the most powerful and deadly creature in North American folklore, the Wendigo appears in many tribal legends. The best known description comes from the communities surrounding the Great Lakes region and Canada. Many of the legends are cautionary tales enforcing taboos against cannibalism by claiming that any human who eats another's flesh will be transformed into a creature of pure evil. A form of Manitou cursed with insatiable, cursed with insatiable appetite. Not even loved ones are safe from their eternal hunger. And there is a real life story of a Wendigo, a man who went by the name of Swift Runner during one particularly harsh winter ate his wife and his children when he ran out of food. It, this should not have happened because according to the story, there was a food storage less than 15 miles away that he could have walked to in order to feed himself and his family. Um, consumed by guilt, he supposedly walked into the neighboring tribe's territory uh, during the next thaw and admitted to his wrongdoings, which, of course, they put him to death for it, fearing that the spirit of the Wendigo would pass on to a member of their tribe if they did not eliminate him. That's all we have for this episode today. If you liked it, let us know by hitting that like button. And subscribe for more if you'd like more. Uh, remember that when you subscribe, if you click the little bell icon next to it, you will get notifications on when I upload the next video. Uh, if you have an idea on what you would like to see next, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And while you're down there, let us know. What do you think?